I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A But see you need the hype And this a battle I don't need or like They give a championship <laughs> match <laughs> 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 Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know why? Be follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to all of the subscribers, that notification gang, the ones who watch this content. Keep us in the algorithm and you know all of the good stuff there. Putting this stuff together so people hear and see what's going on. But bro, there is an interview with K Shine. <laughs> and uh, Knowledge to God. Shout out to Knowledge to God. Shout out to Hip Hop is Real, everything that they do. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Hip Hop is Real is a pillar to the community. They, in the 15 minutes of fame, they go out, they get the interviews, they bring the content back. And you know, I've been rocking with them for years. I talk about their stuff, I use clips from their videos, because there will be some clips from that interview in here. Knowledge, I'm just saying, my nigga, like, yo, everybody eats, B. So, uh, K Shine did an interview. And he's on the Power Network now. Shout out to AP and everybody that's over there and things that they got going on. Shout out to all the leagues. Me and SP do got some things coming soon. I really don't say much no more, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas be hating. I ain't gonna hold you on low behind the scenes and all that shit. A lot of niggas be hating, you know what I mean? So I, you gonna see what me and SP got going on pretty soon. We'll just it, it, let it happen, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, 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 this ain't no clickbait. Make sure y'all check out my mixtape when you start rapping like that, you know what I'm saying? That will be out next week. But I wanna get into this interview, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. Briz fucked up $100,000 with K-Shine. Grand move, a power move, man. You feel me? So, you, Briz, so like, what like, what happened to just like make it not happen? Like, what? All right, so, so with this network, first Briz, uh, I, I wanna say it was 50 or 40,000 the first go around he was talking about. I think it was 50K. It was 40, I think we went back like three or four times before we actually, Seeing he was on live it was at 50 where I told him, listen, bro, he said 50 to like, all right, we can do 50. The network was down to do it. Briz kept ghosting us. Briz kept not answering. Briz kept disappearing. He kept saying, you know, he was he he was busy doing other things. And I'm like, yo, bro, you know, you got like 25,000 waiting for you right now. I don't know what's more important than that. Mm -hmm. Maybe, so I started thinking, maybe that's just not enough. Maybe you was talking to him directly? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm like, maybe in my mind, maybe this is not enough. Like, maybe that's what he put. All right, yo, Briz, what can we do to make it worth your while? Like, like, bro, this is your return. This is my return. This is your energy. This is my energy. This is uproars in the crowd. This is, this is that. Yeah. You feel me? What 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 could we do? Like I can't even see. First of all, I watched this interview and I've been hearing things behind the scenes. Like first of all, shout out to the Power Network, shout out to AP, shout out to everybody over there doing their thing. Ah, uh, we gonna rap. Oh, we gonna rap. He don't want that. He don't want that money. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't you even worry about it. We'll talk soon. So, K Shine does an interview with uh, uh, Hip Hop is Real. And he basically breaks down his whole, you know, dilemma as far as like not battling, having to find his own source of, of, of income, losing cars. Because the thing is, when you battle and you don't work a nine to five, like a job, 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 like a lot of the income that you make to take care of your family, take care of your kids, comes from these battles. You know what I'm saying? And some people think, like oh why they just can't get a job i'll say this from my perspective just being me vada fly the one guy right there's certain jobs that i could get 
But if I get the job, I gotta interact and see people every day, and a lot of them motherfuckers gonna know what you do. They gonna they wanna talk about battle rap all day, or it's just it just becomes problematic. You know what I'm saying? Like the last job I had, my boss knew what I did, and niggas that work there know what I did, and it's just it, it, it's it's a it's a bad work life balance relationship. It's not bad, but it is what it is, right? And, and some niggas just don't wanna do that, right? So. Kayshawn went out and created, and I took notes. This interview was so great. I took fucking notes, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, there's a lot of talking points about this shit. So, uh, Kayshawn went out, created his own opportunity. He started the interview, he was humble, he thanked his fans, you know what I'm saying? He really was worried about where his legacy would be, you know what I'm saying? Like, he hadn't battled in almost two years. His legacy was being stopped up. He didn't know when he was gonna be seen again, and he just wanted to be back outside, right? So he was being offered a lot of different chances like going to be back on another league and battling on this league and battling on that league. But he basically felt like the league shit was slavery. You know what I'm saying? Going back to another league to be back in the same scenario that he was in, right? So he gets with the Power Network and he gets with some people that got some real paper and they wanted to battle Briz. Briz gets on the phone and tells them, allegedly, everything in here is allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. And so Briz comes out and tells his side, he be in spaces every fucking day. I don't know why, but he'll tell his side he will tell his side somewhere. But from what I hear, the passion that K-Shine has. Bro, I'm furious, you feel me? Um, we finally, I finally see him go, I finally see him go live with Calico. If I'm not mistaken. And he was like, yo, yeah, man, I want a hundred thousand, man. I ain't coming back unless I, I'm like, this motherfucker just told me 50, made me do all of this shit, call to these people, have them waiting, swap numbers. Just for him to go on live saying, I ain't talking to nobody if it ain't a hundred. What? You take his brain out and you put it in the bird, the bird is going to start flying backwards, okay? You got that joke. What are you doing to me, bro? What's up? What's going on? Yo, listen, AP, this is what he's talking about. Da -da 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 -da. He's talking about a hundred. It might be over, bro. Nigga, AP says it. You think he's worth a hundred? Think y'all about to pay him a hundred? That's how I'm on it. Feel me? Like, they like, like he like yo shine. If you feel, I'm like, I know for the return, we gonna shake the numbers with this. Give him the buck. Give him the buck. Give him the hundred. Let's do it. Check it right. Look. One new shit. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Love me, love me, love me, love me. Max, what's going on? I'm calling them. Briz, we got the hundred. They like, yo, if we're gonna give them the buck, listen, we're not gonna play these games. We're yeah. not gonna keep playing this cat and mouse game. Yeah. This is money we playing with. This time we playing with. Uh -huh. When when you speak to him, get the bank information. Get have everything ready this time. We're not gonna. He ghosts his niggas again. These two overlapping patrols about three minutes apart. So we just gotta be fast. Yo, I think we should plan this another time. This nigga's scared! Ain't nobody scared, man. I just told you I had a DJ setting. Fuck night. that! For a hundred? So then I, when I finally speak to him, I'm like, yo, what's the issue? Why do you keep ghosting niggas? Nigga, niggas is running around. Now I'm, now the shine is out now. I'm mad now. Like, you feel me? Well, it was good, nigga. Like, you got niggas. Come on, bro. You holding niggas up. He like, yo, bro, you don't feel any nervous about going back and shit? Like, what you mean? Like, mm -hmm. just like, yeah. And the delivery and what he's saying, I have no reason to not believe anything he's saying. I'm just saying. So, he said they were gonna offer him 40,000 the first time to do it. And the network was down to do it, right? Briz is on the phone. Yeah, I'm gonna do the battle. We'll do it. We'll do it. What does Briz start? What the fuck? What does Briz start doing? Ghosting the nigga. Not answering the phone. And, and, and in this industry, we already know what it's like. See, the thing is, when you're involved in it, like you're involved with battle rap, you know how it goes. Like I'll talk to a league owner, right? Yo, we want y'all to do the pay-per-view, we want y'all to do the commentary, blah, 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 blah. We get all of this vibe. Then a couple days later, the conversation will cease. Then you won't hear from them. Then they da 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 And then they, they go in a different, it happens all the time. With not just us, but I'm saying in battle rap. You know when somebody's not going to give you the energy that you deserve because they ghost you. You know what I'm saying? I've been ghosted before. It's happened. I don't care because at the end of the day, I got another play coming up anyway. And another play, and another play, and another play. You're going to see, like I said, you're going to see me and SP back outside real soon. But I don't say much because, like I said, niggas be hating. So, uh, he starts ghosting them. I see where this is going. You don't feel nervous about going back? Returning, yeah. So I was like, nah, bro, like, 
mean, it's always a level of nervousness, right? Nah, um, it's it's a, it's that you get that same bubble because every night it's nothing it's nothing different than what I plan to do. Got gotcha. you. I plan to man. I'm nervous. That's not even in my mind, bro. Yeah. I'm on some shit. I'm about. Yeah. I'm on some shit. Nervous is not it. I can't wait. I got you. Anxious. I cannot. Wait. I'm, yeah, bro. I'm. 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 I'm going through anxiety, bro. Like, yeah. I'm feeling to show y'all this. This shit, man. Like, you know. Um. So he says that to you, and you say what to him? Um. I, he. I, he asks me. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm, I'm. I'm just gonna go out there and do what I. What I normally do, bro. Like, you feel me? I, I'm. I'm actually more excited, especially if it's a person like you. We gonna turn up. I'm really gonna go on my. Brit, Shine calls him and says, I got $25,000 waiting. In this economy, Brit, it's $25,000 in this, you bugging, right? So he says, maybe that's not enough, right? <laughs> so, uh, Brit, Shine is like, you know, you make your return, I make my return, we do it on this network. That pay-per-view would have sold like, you know what I'm saying? That shit would have sold like biscuits in the projects. Niggas would have had enough bread to bake biscuits. For the People would have tuned in to see a Briz versus Shine return, you know what I'm saying? So now Shine, he's sitting back. He's, you know, Shine is a hothead. So he's like, yo, what can we do to make this happen? He calling Briz, he calling Briz. But Briz was giving everybody to run around. They giving ARP to run around for a couple months. He on the phone with Beasley. And this is shit I don't understand about Briz. I got no issues with him as a man. If I see him, I say, what up tomorrow? But stop playing around in battle rap. You know you don't want to do this. You know this is not where your heart is at. You're not, this is four years ago. Mook and them got into that shit four years ago. You could have had a child that was on the way and they'll be heading to fucking kindergarten next year and you still ain't battled. So I always felt like Briz was out of it. Because I think the last time I spoke to him, probably a couple years ago, he was definitely nervous about how he was going to be received and all this other shit. I think it was on Twitter. I DM, we spoke like a couple years ago. And he was definitely nervous about how he was going to be received. And I think my, my, my comment was like, bro, it's like riding a bike. You battle before, you can battle again. But... Let's, let's keep it, I'm gonna keep it going, right? So he's like, what can we do to make this happen? Briz is still giving them the runaround. Now the people that's in the business, this is another thing that being in the business tells you. When you bring somebody to a connection, these connections that have this money, that have all of this shit going on, they don't want no extra yellow tape. And gotta, I gotta chase you around. I don't have the information. I don't know if you signed the contract. Now Shine is looking funny. They're looking at Shine funny like the money in the light. Like, nigga, you said this was the big match. This nigga can't, we can't even get in contact with him. So Shine then puts Briz in contact with the network, his connect, like, yo, they'll pay you, blah, 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 blah. Briz goes to them niggas. <laughs> so. Shine seen him on a live with Calico. And he said, you know, Briz starts talking, I'm not coming back unless I get 100,000, I got 100,000, all this other shit, right? I did a blog before where I was saying, I don't think Briz will ever get $100,000 for a battle. Well, look at me, dumb as the fucking sky. I'm green as a pool table. I didn't think, I am green as a pool table. I got some yellow Gatorade, but this is green, this green I'm as green as this. I did not think for the life of me, Anybody would be willing to pay Briz Rothstein $100,000 for a battle. Look at this. They said, give it to him. Give him the buck. Give him the buck. They said, give him the money, right? So now Shine is like, yo, we got him. He's going to take that. I know he's going to take the $100,000. we going to take the $100,000. He was all psyched about it. Every time I speak to him, I get the call in them back. Yeah, we good. We got him. Got Briz, you know it's going down, bro. Let's 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 get it. They're like, all right, cool. I have to get it down to the point where they ain't speaking to him. Okay. The network, yeah. AP. I'm out of it, so he knows I'm not trying to. Be, you handle your business, feel comfortable, yeah. to negotiate what you want to negotiate. Right. Right. What y'all think this nigga did? <laughs> Shine is the, 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 the company is on the phone. Like, just give us the bank information. Give us the information. When he goes to niggas for a hundred thousand in this economy, oh my god, bro. A hundred thousand move like three hundred thousand now. You know how much it is for a dozen of eggs, my nigga? You know how much it is for a gallon of milk? Briz must got a good motherfucking job. Cause when you could turn out a <laughs> You can turn out that car. I would have battled K Shine for 50,000, 30,000, 20. I would have battled that nigga. I might not have won. It's cool. Shine would have fried me. But guess what? Time I start, I'm going to do my own recap too, motherfucker. I'm going to lose and do my own recap. 
I guarantee you I have three rounds. I might not win it. It's cool. But I, first thing I'm going to say, oh, 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 before y'all niggas get started on me, I made 20000 yesterday. So what y'all got to say? Now, let's get to round one. I bet you that. Shine my man. I'd battle that nigga for 50000 You crazy? 100000 Shit. I'd battle that nigga and Rex the same day. Anyway, so this nigga's running around giving niggas the, 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 the gaffle, not calling people back. Not giving the bank information, not like doing what needed to be done to set up the battle. Shine's going through anxiety. <laughs> so then, this shit is crazy. It's, it gets crazier. It, w -w 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 way it gets worse. I'm not watered down, so I'm dying of thirst. The nigga said, <laughs> Shine said, Bridge told him, let's come back in a two on two. <laughs> a two on two? Nigga, we don't want to see you and Shine in no fucking two on two. If you don't get your ass out there and battle on your own, Shine told that nigga, I'm a warrior. I'm trying to go out on my own. I'm not trying to battle in no two on two. This side, no. How you gonna beat Mook if you scared to come back? I said it again. How is he ever? Briz will never beat Mook, and he's never battling Mook. He's not gonna beat Mook if he's scared to come back. The nigga, he's scared. He want to swim without getting wet. How the fuck he gonna battle Mook and he don't even want to come back? And we don't want to, because you know, Briz, he love, he'll jump in them spaces. He get to talking about bloggers and bloggers this and we don't know this and we don't know that. Bro, Shine is not lying, my nigga. Shine ain't gonna be lying about you being scared of a hundred fucking thousand dollars. So you can save that conversation, right? And there's only a few people in battle rap who have ever been paid a hundred thousand. Mook, Lux, Hitman, Cassidy. Nobody else. There ain't nobody else. There is nobody else making a hundred thousand. Absolutely fucking not. Sue Surf could probably get 100000 when he comes back. But he had to go to jail. He had to sit down for damn near five years to get that shit. So, <laughs> he'll get it. He will. If Surf come back and say, I want 200000 for my first battle, who's going to tell him no? He'll get it. So, he'll be in the five, in the 100000 club. But Briz was almost in the 100000 club. <laughs> and he still did not want to do it. So, this to me shows me why he went and got shot. Mad at him getting shoddy hard no more because when you're dealing with the bullshit like this for this kind of money, you know what kind of what kind of play you could have fucked up with that kind of bread, my nigga. Like, no. So ultimately, I think Briz is scared to battle. I think he's scared to return, and I think he's not battling anymore because if you could turn down fifty, you could turn down seventy, you could turn down a hundred thousand. This is money he's never made before. He ain't even how you turn. He turned down money he ain't even made. Never made. Nigga ain't never made no hundred thousand or close to it. He's scared. This nigga's scared. He's scared. Just say that. We can just leave it there and that'll be that. But I'm shout out to K-Shine. Uh, you know, he was very adamant and very, 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 very straightforward in this interview. And he was saying he was mad after a while. Like after a while you get mad when you find out a nigga's playing with your money and playing with your future. Uh, it was like, nah, he was just like, nah, um, then he gets to saying, yo, how about we do a two on two? I say, yo, if we do a two on two, this gotta be a, a two battle deal for this buck, bro. I don't think they're gonna give you a hundred thousand, dude. Like, and he like, yo, I'm saying, I'm like, two on two, though. What you mean? He like, yeah, like me and you could return together as against him. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to be something like that, gang. Okay? I'm just not, you know what I mean? Like, respectfully, that's not what I'm on right now. I'm ready to just go out like a warrior, bro. Feel me? I ain't trying to team up with nobody, nigga. Niggas ain't team up with me through this shit. I'm ready to go crazy, you feel me? I ain't. And I got you a hundred. Yeah, like, well, I got you a hundred. I don't know what you're talking about. I got you a hundred. I'm telling you, he's not even interested in that. Bro. And that's a real hundred. Like, he signed some delivered, you know, you know what I'm saying? And Shine said he do got he got some more movements coming with the Power Network. Shout out to the Power Network. I'd love to find out how to what's gonna be the rollout. What is it gonna be a whole card? What's gonna be involved with it? Is it just gonna be a single battle? Things like that. Like I said, Briz don't want that money. AP, shout out to AP, shout out to everybody at Power Network. Don't worry. We gonna talk, cause I'll show up. <laughs> Fuck that. He don't want that money. We do. I'll be there. What you need? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hard to find, you know what I'm saying? I got I'm pl I got plugged up with them yet. Don't even worry about it. You're gonna hear more to come. Don't you fucking worry about it. We don't we don't not shit or waste no opportunities around here. Because that type of money you ain't never gonna be able to make again. You will never be able to make that. That's just in battle rap, a hundred thousand is generational money. In battle rap. That's just the glad cause the thing is, the floor to the ceiling in battle rap 
aren't far enough to be changing, to be wasting these kind of opportunities. In other industries, you know, you got a lot of different levels you can get to. In battle rap, it's here, then it's there. It's a small window to try to make this type of money. And um, to see Shine, after everything that he's been through, through these two, three years of him not battling, not being seen, not being outside, to have to go through that kind of shit is crazy. Briz turned down a hundred thousand dollars in this economy. I told you that nigga must got a good job, or he must got he must didn't he must be a union worker. <laughs> he must be tied in with somebody's union. Cause I don't know nobody that's gonna turn down that kind of bread. He could have got he could have got anybody. But well, like I said, uh, we, we we are looking forward to seeing what K Shine got going on. Uh, like I said, he does have Shadi Hara in Atlanta on um, New Year's Eve. The, the Let me just read the card right quick. Uh, the www.thepowernetwork.tv, K-Shine versus Shadi Hara, uh, State of Emergency in Atlanta at King of Diamonds on December 31st. I'm trying to be in Atlanta. <laughs> Holla! You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen. You ain't got to work. I bet you won't have to work hard to get my bank. If <laughs> you will not have to work hard to get at me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm prepared and I ain't scared. And I will say this though. Um, there do probably be some reluctance and shit. Like you don't know how you're going to be received. And I get it. I get it. But Briz could have battled already and got past this. Rock battled like the month after against Geechee Gotti. And Geechee Gotti was like your seatbelt. Don't buckle up. Because you don't ride with your niggas in Philly. And had the whole building shaking going crazy rock done dealt with that shit before but he battled through it and he kept going briz has literally been punched out of battle rap like i said i ain't got no issue with the nigga personally i don't i really don't but i gotta bring you the news how the news is supposed to be brought this is crazy but other than that salute to every single one of y'all you already know what the fuck going on show me about a fly tell your mama i say hi shout out to k shine shout out to ap and the power network Yes, I'm rich. You don't know the checks I get or the things I go through to protect my shit. I had to get it off the arm now and reflect my wrist. I take jewels to other jewelers and it bet not tick, nigga. Father. Got my mama mad, asked when I'ma stop hustling I told her no time soon, long as this pot's bubbling And I don't touch it if I can't make a profit of it Hustling, should move the island how I love Dublin Mama forgive me, your baby boy outside thugging She know ain't no pussy in me, I came out of stomach Kid, fly like Vada 